Hello everyone and welcome to this video, how to configure ConGaSign for Salesforce. In this video, I will walk you through the configuration process. So the first step is to go to ConGaSign setup. So the way to do that is click on the app launcher, ConGaSign, and then ConGaSign setup. From this page, we're going to kick off with the org configuration and just work our way down these items. The first step is user permissions. Under user permissions, if you click on the hyperlink in the profile setup, it will take you to your Salesforce profile page. Basically, your Salesforce profile settings will be inherited by ConGaSign. It's from here you can simply search for the permissions needed for ConGaSign. So you look at the permissions in the ConGaSign setup and ensure that they're enabled here. For the ConGaSign processing region, we highly recommend that you choose the same region as your Salesforce org or your primary business location. The chosen region will be permanent and any existing region connections cannot be modified. Once you have chosen your region, simply click on connect or in my case, reconnect because I've already connected and then this will then connect to the Conga sign for Salesforce server. And your status will show as connected. Next up, we have organization configuration. This is where you will choose the objects that you want Conga sign to utilize and the profiles that will be permitted to use Conga sign for Salesforce. So you click on start automatic configuration, select your available object. So in this case, I want to use it on the opportunity object. Click on next. I'm going to select my profile. So this will be standard user and then save. There may be instances where the configuration may take up to 10 minutes. Once done, the hyperlink under organization configuration will indicate it's successfully configured in green. Guided signing. Once enabled, the recipient or signer will be automatically guided to the signature tags or write back tags of the document. We will touch on this later when discussing the actual signing process. So it's easy enough to switch this on, you just need to toggle to switch on. Reassign the signer allows signers to reassign the ConGaSign transaction to another recipient. Disabling this setting will prevent signers from any reassignment. And it's easy enough to switch it on and off, you just click on the toggle. And lastly, we have the final document delivery. This allows administrators to have the option to choose how the completed or final document is delivered to the recipients. In this case, it's going to be a PDF attachment, but you can download, download a link or have an attachment and link. That's it for all configuration. So let's have a look at business units. So across the left hand side, click on business units. This section allows you to enter your company information so that it will show at the bottom of the email the recipient will receive. It's easy enough, you just need to click on add new business unit. Business units tailor the signer experience by enabling custom logos and branding for multiple business entities. And you can find out more information about this on our support site. Basic tag configuration. Basic tags are the most used signature tags like name, email and date. As you can see, we have six basic tags that are required by default and for the rest you can choose whether you want them to be optional or required. Write back configuration. This functionality uses ConGaSign tags to configure and map standard and custom Salesforce fields in documents. The information provided by the signers will then be sent directly to Salesforce and update the corresponding records. Just a quick note here, the objects that would appear here will be based on the objects that you have chosen during the org configuration that we discussed earlier. There are some limits to write back. You can have one signer per write back tag and this eliminates any potential data conflicts if multiple signers were asked to provide the same information. This functionality also eliminates redundant data entry and possible errors associated with manual processes. So to set up a write back tag, you just select an object. So in this case, it's going to be my opportunity. 
and then select the field that you want to use for write back, payment type. The syntax will then be provided so you can copy and paste this into your CongaSign template. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any more questions, visit our Conga community at community.conga.com and visit our user groups and our Conga Sign user group.